Hey all, so the male genital mutilation bill has made it into the November 2012 ballot in San Francisco. Basically what this bill will do is make it illegal to cut off the foreskin of baby boys in San Francisco. Now if you aren't familiar with the pros and cons of circumcision, I strongly recommend that you educate yourself before starting to think about the issue of banning. I made a video with all of the basic pro and con facts, click here to check it out. So today I want to talk about arguments in favor of the ban, arguments against the ban, and a few words about alternatives and outcomes, as well as my personal opinion on circumcision since I had a lot of people ask me about that after my last circumcision video. Let's roll! Now as a sex positive activist, it's nice to imagine a world where baby boys aren't robbed of a very sensitive part of their body, their foreskin, before they can even talk. This argument is basically based in human rights. The right of a child to their full natural body. Another argument in favor is that female genital mutilation is illegal in the US. Now while in its effects female genital mutilation is a little bit different, it's still sexist to have female genital mutilation be illegal while male genital mutilation is legal. But there are some arguments that are against this ban as well. I think the most important factor to consider here is the First Amendment right to religious freedom. Circumcision is a religious tradition and in this country we protect free police. Secondly, in the US we typically protect parents' rights to make decisions about their children. There's also the issue of privacy. It could be argued that this is government interference in our private lives. There are also some other things for those who have proposed this ban to think about. Now maybe this isn't the most effective strategy. There could be some kind of backlash which won't help the cause of stopping male genital mutilation. So maybe it might be a good thought exercise to think of some alternatives to diminishing the circumcision rate. Of course, I always think that a great solution to a lot of social problems is education. Educate, educate, educate. So maybe instead of banning circumcision outright, you could require parents who are about to circumcise their baby boy to get peer-reviewed materials about the pros and cons of male genital mutilation and then decide for themselves instead of kind of just going with it because that's just, you know, what we do in the United States. Maybe that would be an alternative here. Oh goodness, it's getting dark. I want to reiterate before I say this that this is my personal stance. So I don't really know how I feel about the ban, but when it comes to circumcision, I would never ever in a million years chop off my baby boy's foreskin. Arguments pose that it looks nicer is bullshit. His natural body is beautiful and that foreskin is going to bring him a lot of pleasure later in life. And as to the health benefits, please. Health benefits that come with circumcision are minimal. The way I see it, this is just an attempt to justify a tradition and to allow the medical establishment to keep making a lot of money off of a pretty much useless procedure. There are lots of ways to get sick and lots of ways to end up needing extra cleaning. So chopping off the body part in question to avoid STIs and STDs or to avoid having to pull back the foreskin when you clean it seems uh, absurd to me. A much more reasonable solution would be to teach my son about safer sex and HIV prevention and to teach him how to wash his penis properly, not to just chop the foreskin off. That's a considerable amount of pleasure that I would be denying my son. I really just don't feel like it's my place to do that. If he wants to get circumcised later in life, then go for it. But in infancy, well, to me, the foreskin is not a birth defect. It's a birth right. So let me know what y'all think about this ban. I don't know if it'll pass or not, but I still think that it's an interesting thought exercise when we're thinking about the sexual rights of others. Love you all, and I will see you next week. Except your mom, oh. What?